Jake Sig. Um, I would like to speak first about uh, uh, saving our, our grassland, our native grasslands, um, by using a selective herbicide like triclopyr. <laughs> Uh, we're able to spray, use spray in the grasslands because uh, triclopyr does not kill uh, monocots, which are your grasses, lilies, irises, orchids, and the like. It will only kill the broad-leafed weeds. So we really need that uh, badly. We're losing our grasslands right now. Uh, they're so weed-infested, and the staffing is so short this natural areas program was never fully staffed, and lately it's been losing staff. So herbicide, the beauty of herbicides is that you make up for uh, labor that you don't have. And so we need definitely uh, some selective herbicide, whether it's triclopyr or whatever. Um, the grasslands are also important for um, uh, uh, foraging animals, coyotes, hawks, owls, um, the like, and it, we are losing our grasslands. We're losing it in part to poison oak, of all things, um, and which has always been an aggressive plant. It is more aggressive now because of increased carbon dioxide in the air, which it thrives on, and uh, right now, we're losing our grasslands, so it's really important that we be able to use them. Oxalis, um, another thing, the Oxalis pescapri, the yellow Oxalis, it is just almost unstoppable. Um, and somebody <coughs> noted, you have to kill that corn, that bulb. Um, the only way you can do it is with herbicides. You, it's impossible to do it manually. Um, I wish I'd brought uh, pictures of San Bruno Mountain where they had sprayed whole mountainsides of oxalis. It's the only way they got rid of it there. They have three federally listed butterflies there that require grasslands. So they're really under pressure to get rid of the oxalis. And, uh, 30 seconds. How much? 30 seconds. I hate to hear all this fear, un, 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 unwanted fear of, of um, a, a, about herbicides. I, I was a gardener all my life. I used herbicides and I, I'm 88 now. I mean, I'm still, you know, I've, I've used a lot of them and it's, it seems like if something bad, they were really that bad that I would have problems now. <laughs> Requiring uh, gardeners to wear Tyvek suits sends the wrong message. It's like you're applying some dangerous chemical. It's, most of these herbicides are not that dangerous. So I guess I'm about up. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you.